What's going on guys? Today we're going to talk about my new camera. Um, I actually spent the better part of the day actually editing my second video. The first video that, uh, I shouldn't say first or second because I've done them before in the past, but present now, present day, um, with all the new advanced technologies and stuff, this is actually my second video. The first video I actually did completely all off my iPhone. Uh, recorded everything, uh, used a, an app called Kindmaster. Uh, basically, I had a watermark on it because it was the free version. I wasn't going to pay for something just to do a, a phone edit. Uh, it turned out pretty decent. Um, it definitely wasn't as easy as trying to do it on a computer. Uh, it's you know kind of finicky trying to do my fingers. Um, ended up working out great. Um, it worked out good. got it done, taken care of. Then I started looking into other options. I wanted to upgrade. I wanted to really dive into this. So I had been kind of doing some research, watching some YouTube videos, and I ended up coming across a ton of options uh, as far as cameras for vlogging or, or, or creating film or creating content. And I basically narrowed it down um, to two or three different cameras. I ended up going with the Canon SL2 uh, 200D, and I know it's already November 2018. It's already been out for a little while. But I ended up going with that camera because the specs that it offered are pretty much everything I needed and was looking for. And I was able to get it for a really good price. I was able to get the international uh, version with the kit lens, 18 to 55, not the STM version. Uh, I was able to get the 18 to 55 and the camera brand new in a box, not refurbished, for 23% discount off MSRP. So what I was able to do then is with that money I saved, I was able to put it towards lenses and gear uh, tripod bag i got a, a mic you know a, a shotgun mic and little aperture light so i was able to invest in other things and just a camera you know there's a lot of cameras out there that, that that were good and some right out the gate with just one lens were a thousand dollars so i wasn't going to do that i wanted to start you know start off small and, and, and work my way up so this camera's been great to me so far. Um, the first day, I know I was kind of having trouble taking pictures with it. Uh, I wasn't, you know, schooled yet on, on all the settings, so it took a little bit getting used to, but I've been pretty much happy with it uh, up to this point. You know, right now I'm, I'm using the 10 to, 8, uh, 10 to 18 millimeter uh, wide angle lens. I have the 18 to 55, like I said, the kit lens. I also have the 50 nifty 50 1.8. I have on order coming right now the 18 to 135, and I'm also going to pick up the 55 to 250. And I think that's kind of basically where I want to stay as far as lenses. I don't want to dive too much in, in, in into any more of that. Um, I've been able to play around with it. So basically yesterday I went to a family gathering uh, at a barbecue, so I decided to get some footage and, and kind of turn it into a video. Uh, started using the VidTube Resolve because that's kind of... The one I seen was the best option, best fit for me because it's free, um, real easy to get get used to. I had first tried Hit Film, uh, it was it was it's not as as, as packed as uh, as DaVinci. DaVinci Resolve is definitely the one I would go with um, starting off. But uh, I'm gonna show you this little video I came up with, just a quick short film. Um, it's not really a film, really. It's just a sequence that I put together. You know, and, and I, I'm going to kind of want to do this more often, you know, try to do this as often as I can, you know, because it's something that I really, really, really want to dive into, you know, something that I, I'm gaining more and more interest by the day. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you have never been on my channel, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and I appreciate you stopping by.
that video, the video that I posted online and I did basically all of the editing on my phone or off my phone, it was a video on my truck, my truck build in progress. Um, basically it kind of shows a little bit of the timeline of what I was able to do to my truck and it had some footage of me actually doing it. Um, basically I'm, I'm a very big truck enthusiast. Uh, I'm into the big truck, lifted truck scene, drop truck scene, uh, hot rod and performance, custom, uh, custom and collision work. So that was my first video. So that's kind of the idea that I'm going with my channel is going to be kind of, you know, cin uh, cinema photography and, and, and trucks. Um, that's kind of what I want to stick with. I'm not an action sports guy. I like to, but I'm not really don't have, you know, I'm not in an, in an area where action sports are a big thing or a common thing. You know, um, basically the most action sports I could do is go outside and run with the cows. <laughs> so I'm going to stick to doing, you know, photography, cinematic sequences, whether it's short films or, you know, stuff like that. And obviously trucks, cars, that's my passion. Um, something I really love to do. So that's kind of what my channel is going to, going to entail. So I, I really hope that I can get, you know, a few of you guys interested in following along in the journey. And again, I appreciate you guys, man. Thank you. Look at that light. That light works great. That is so awesome. Wide angle, wide angle lens. It's the way to go. Look at that light. That is so awesome. That is so awesome.